first off, um, Plato thought that the regular solid solids, um, polyhedra, were all that makes up reality, earth, fire, air, water, wind, or something like that. And um, then later on, Lord Calvin believed that cubes, cubes were the shape that, well, these are not the platonic solids. I don't have the platonic solids here. This is just one, two platonic solids. But later on, uh, Lord Calvin thought that the cube was the basic building block of space because they fit evenly into each other with no overlap or anything. <clears throat> and um, this is sort of the work I've been doing with trying to find the ghost number in the platonic solids. <clears throat> these platonic solids are what I'm working on right now. But with these graphs, these are sort of like analogous to uh, the platonic solids. Um, if you consider the three node as being the dodecahedron with three um, pentagons going around the central point. And if you can think of it, and it also matches up, it's regular. If you consider this to be a regular cross section of a regular polyhedron, uh, regular polyhedron. I'm not too sure about this, but uh, five nodes, if you consider, and I know this is actually, it looks like it more closely represents the dodecahedron, but I think that the five nodes of this cross section of a polyhedra represents the five triangles that go around the central point. Three nodes, five nodes. And it's a regular polyhedron. Uh, polyhedron. And two, 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 two. But in between these, in this graph, if this graph relates to these at all, this graph is an irregular polyhedron has two different shapes. So does this graph. It has two different shapes, three and two, three, two, three, two. But this this graph in a polyhedra form would be a regular polyhedra. So I'm not sure if that's actually this or this or this. But they all go up to nine. So regular polyhedron, irregular polyhedron, regular polyhedron. I'm not really sure if this is really on any good grounds, but I, I believe these graphs relate cross-sectional, cross-sectionally to these, or to what would be uh, platonic solids, the five platonic solids and the irregular solids that go in between those. And um, what I'm trying to do is uh, find the, the cube, I believe, is a part of space, is a basic part of space. And all the cube is, well, here's a, communi here's a commutative line of expression or equation or whatever, um, one, plus two is three on both sides. The central ghost number is three and the outer ghost number is three. Here's a commutative square. If you put one, two, three, four around here, it's 10 on the central ghost number added together. The primary numbers get 10 and the outer ghost numbers are 10 because they match the orange numbers. The secondary numbers, three plus seven and five plus five. So then again, it's just the central ghost number equal and the outer ghost number. Well, on a cube form, it goes right up to three. Three is a cubic expression of the central ghost number. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, equal 21. And then it goes up to four, and these are not in order, five, um, six, Seven, numerologically, 
eight and nine, and this is also eight. And I believe that these, these, the regular and irregular polyhedra, and these graphs, all have some sort of commonality with each other. And I'm, I'm trying to find out exactly what that is. And um, so that's my math program that I have for myself. So uh, thanks a lot.